CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer is live from Jackson Memorial Hospital with details about the vaccine supply heading to South Florida. Brooke, good morning. Hey, Maribel, good morning. The White House yesterday said that Florida has actually only used about 50% of that available vaccine across the state. And this news comes as, like you said, a lot of people have had a very difficult try time rather trying to get some of those coveted appointments. Appointments filled in minutes and long lines. This has been the saga of COVID vaccines in South Florida. If we were getting more vaccines, we could double or triple the number of shots we can get into arms. The mayor of Broward County, Steve Geller, says the main issue is not having enough doses to meet high demand. In a county with about 340,000 seniors, he says it's going to be a slow rollout at this rate. Broward County can provide the logistics for 40 or 50,000 doses per week if we get them. If we're only getting a third of that, you know, our problem is, at, you know, as I can't create vaccines. Miami-Dade Mayor Daniela Levine Cava shared a similar message on Twitter, saying in part, Miami-Dade is prepared to rapidly ramp up vaccine distribution to meet the enormous demand. She went on to say, we are ready, we just need the vaccines. Keep in mind, the federal government gives the vaccine to the states who are then responsible for distribution. In a press conference in Washington, the White House was asked about Florida specifically, and they placed the blame on the state. Uh, they've only distributed about 50% of the vaccines that they have been given in Florida. So um, clearly they have uh, a, a, a good deal of the vaccine. That supply will need to continue to increase as they are able to effectively reach uh, people across the state. Governor Ron DeSantis speaking yesterday in Jacksonville said they're at the mercy of what the federal government gives them. And he said they've been successful in meeting the needs, first and foremost, of long-term care facilities. By the end of this month, a COVID-19 vaccine will have been offered to every resident and staff member at all of Florida's nearly 4,000 long-term care facilities, uh, which is really, really good. So the big question this morning, again, the White House said Florida's only used about 50% of the available vaccine doses, but we don't know this morning whether or not that extra 50% that hasn't been used, are those being saved for people who have already gotten that first shot? Are they being saved for a second dose for people across the state? Governor Ron DeSantis has not responded specifically to the White House's comment yesterday. We're hoping to learn some more information later today. I'm live outside JMH, Brooke Schaefer, CBS4 This Morning.